So our next speaker is going to talk to us about Handelsblatt's transformation from content to community to holistic experience. So please welcome the managing director of the Handelsblatt Group, Frank Dobheider. Frank. <laughs> So, hello everybody. Um, I'm in the media business for two and a half years and before I got off the track, I was 25 years in brands and advertising. And so I still feel there's some really new interesting insights to me looking into this industry. And for us, newspaper at Handelsblatt, 70 years old, Wirtschaftswoche 90 years old, was just the beginning. And when I met the publisher, I literally asked him, so what have you done all the years? Because this is the car, actually the first car in the world, Bertha Benz drove it uh, to Darmstadt, and this is what Daimler Benz made out of cars the last 90, 100 years. This actually was once called a telephone, and this is what telephone companies made out of telephones. And even if you go to a weird stuff like vacuum cleaners, the last 50 years there was a lot of innovation. So the weak point, of course, was always the human part, the husband, so they got rid of it and now we have vacuum roboters. Looking back to our own product, actually all we did is we added color. So it's the same format, it's still black, uh, tiles on white paper, uh, uh, the same size of pages. So innovation for our industry probably is a weak point anyhow. So, and this is what we have to talk about. Actually, it's getting worse. Coming to this uh, industry, we found at Handelsblatt that we have lost the magic place in the people's life which was easy 10 years ago because then you've been the boss. You came between eight and half past eight into your office and right on your big boss desk, there was Handelsblatt. You sat down with a coffee, had a half an hour reading and a coffee and then started work. No one does that anymore. Not the CEO of Deutsche Bank, not the CEO of Daimler. So we were in trouble saying, where actually is the place of our product in people's life? And talking about innovation, everything we did the last 70 years, you have seen that, was the same product, now with color, but still a mono product. You read Handelsblatt, normally when you are 44 years old, you are male, you are a boss, and you have enormous amount of money. So, but what did you do if you're 40 years old? And nobody ever thought of how do we actually attract people and bring them to the brands. So, no innovation, huh? lost the place in people's life and a mono product, we were in trouble. Here are the magic numbers. In Germany, we are the business paper. So there are 82 million Germans. We are the economic engine in Europe and 126,000 people are contractors to Handelsblatt. So where are all the rest? What do they read? And it's getting worse from 126,000, 60% were business company readers. So we literally have no idea in the very end who reads it at all. We give it to the front desk of Deutsche Bank. And we have a churn rate of 18%. So 60% of the people reading your product, you don't even know, when with a churn rate for nearly 20%, in five years you can be dead. So it felt, for me, much more intense for everyone than everyone else. And the only recipe we had, and probably every media company in Germany has, so if you come to our brand, we give you some money, or we give you uh, uh, some rubber on, on gas, or you get an Acu-driller. Hmm? So, we thought we need radical change. <laughs> and the key problem probably of the industry is that they desire to reinvent the past. Bring back the good old times when life was easy and I was sitting down with the newspaper at my coffee table and the whole family is there. So bring back the past. And that's actually not what it is about. 
So our question is, we never ever talk about what we do, newspapers. Let's find the answer, the answer why we are in this world. And we started uh, with this sentence. This is our publisher, Gabor Steingart, and he said, look at Handelsblatt, we are not part of the timber industry. We are a community whose mission is to spread economic understanding. As long as if it is about economic understanding, we will deal with it. And suddenly the playground gets much bigger than just making a newspaper. So, next mission was, okay, if it's about spreading economical uh, knowledge, understanding, what actually is the minute a day in the consumer's life? How do we get this one minute? We want to get in touch at least once a day for a minute. So we invented something called morning briefing. Gabor Steinger, the publisher himself, writes his own personal newsletter every night, and so you get it at six o'clock in the morning, you read it in three minutes, and it's in your email box. Because if you're a boss, if you're a businessman, the first thing you do in the morning is check your emails. This is the place where a new medium has to be if it's related to business. So actually coming from here, the mono product, the 44-year-old guys who need Handelsblatt for their profession, for their job, how can we turn this media brand into a lifetime relationship? And this is what we do. We come from, I need it for my profession, but before I get into this chief executive officer's job, maybe I start with my profession and I need just business information just to know what's going on because I'm interested. I want to talk with my clients, probably clients about that. And before coming to information, I have to give the young people at least an idea that it could be interesting at all taking care about business and economics. And this starts at the age of 18. In Germany, they do the Abitur, and a week before they do the Abitur, they think, oh my God, what can I study? And then they are open to say, okay, if you want to study economics, here's probably a brand which can help you. So coming from interest to information to professionalization, uh, you can even give more expertise. Now you get the special media. And what do you do with the people who read Handelsblatt for 40 years and then retire? 60%, you remember, were business accounts. We don't even know who that ever was, and they fall off. So keep them involved. So now we have a line coming from the Handelsblatt saying the, the, uh, the McDonald's Kids Club product for us is orange. Huh? So it's on WhatsApp, it's daily news, it's written in the language of the young people. Then we have our publisher's personal newsletter, morning briefing. Then we have it, keep it short and simple, just the 10 topics of today, Handelsblatt 10. Then we have the Handelsblatt, now also in global. Then we have to become experts, the research institute or the special media. And this is how it looks. So today, nobody ever falls off the Handelsblatt word. We keep them from the beginning to the very end. And this also means at the high peak, we had nearly half a million subscribers and readers. And nowadays, with all the things you've seen, we have 1.5 million, which is not print anymore, but today we reach more people than ever with Handelsblatt, which is a good sign. The next thing is now we have a lifetime circle. What can we do? We have the digital driven by technology. We still have the paper printed day by day. But what uh, is the new step into the world? And we heard it from uh, the New York Times. We call it, in a modern business paper, connects not only words and images, but people with people, which is interesting. And the first time we thought digital readers and print readers are completely different personalities, which they are not. And then we thought, okay, maybe they do it just by convenience, which is not. Today we've learned Digital information is just information activation. 
If things get complicated, you really, in Germany we say, begreifen, keep it in your hand, sit down, think about it, and have the printed version. And if things get really, really complicated, and you at least need a kind of navigation system like TTIP, Europe, Trump, it's like in school or in the university, you have to talk people with people to make up your mind before getting information to this. So today we have 200 events, nearly more than <laughs> newspapers around here. And the interesting thing, and now you see the orange color behind of it, was the question, how do we all get this together? And the platform to keep the whole Handelsblatt world in one shape is the Handelsblatt Wirt. Club. So if you are a contractor, subscriber to us, you are automatically a member of the Handelsblatt Wirtschaftsclub. Every event we have, you are invited. Of course, if we, as we have anyhow 200s, we can separate and say five minutes before John Crines enter the stage, say personal hello to him and ask him the question you always wanted to ask him. So easy things. You get all the archive from the last 70 years. Huh? You get the all original documents from Volkswagen, from the board meeting, whatever you wanted to know and nobody told you. And of course, you get special offers nobody else can actually buy because they are limited edition, things like this. The magical first impression. Three years ago, the first uh, contact with our brand was actually this is what you have to fill out to get your bank account and uh, give us the money. It feels very formula and feels like kind of distant to people. Now you get a nice box and you get your member pass with it and a personal letter from the publisher, which actually is welcome, says welcome to our world. And this is what it in the end brings. There is an deeper connections. You've seen the 18% churn rate. It goes down to 13, which makes some impact in our media brand. And it keeps at least the printed media stable in tough times. So talking about cultural change, this actually is an original picture from five, six years ago. This is how we did invent. It looks a little bit like the Communist Party huh, in former uh, Russia. Uh, for us, we learned cultural change is just another word for pain therapy because it's so different <laughs> what they have to do now and even our journalists. So we said we always do journalism. It's digital, it's printed, or it's live. We don't have moderators, we have journalists. And you do live work. You get the interviews, you have no, um, no Photoshop to deal with it. This is really live. And this is just a different version of the newspaper now in 3D. And this is how it looks today. So, what we've learned also from New York Times, and we are on the same road, is that people trust people. So it's very important to at least give an idea who is the editor-in-chief, who is uh, running this interview, what is the person behind the journalist. And this is why we are keen on that we show them much more than ever before in our media, get them connected with the people, and even give an idea what makes them personal. Why is he interested in China? Why is he competent about whatever kind of things? And uh, we feel very strong with Gabor Steingart, Sven Affüppe, Miriam Meckel, and also Giovanni Di Lorenzo, which is the editor-in-chief of Times, uh, uh, Zeit. And uh, what we see is that it pays off. 
People trust people, give them contact, give them direct access to this, and this is what uh, uh, the PR communications agencies uh, brought out last year, that Handelsblatt is the most trusted media brand in Germany. Let's go over this, skip this, because I want definitely to talk to you about this. This is how the hell do we manage cultural change, which is really complicated. And we came to the conclusion that in the very end, it's the six pillars of cultural change. The fundamental thing always is safeness. You don't lose your life, don't get in panic, you keep your job, whatever it is, you are safe. Too safe even feels a little bit like lazy, so we invited uncertainty. At least you don't know with what an idea we come up next week. Uh, there's a kind of uh, open end to things we start. Notice is we notice you as a person. We know you, what's your name, what's your private life, what you care about, what your values are. And togetherness, you are part of us, you are one of us, which brings back emotional quality. And the two really main drivers in the very end are individual growth. You learn something you never could have done before. And probably the biggest driver, you feel that you are part of something bigger than yourself. And if you manage uh, these six pillars, you get ch cultural change into a company, which is always complicated. So what will be next? Uh, next is we come from information and go to qualification. This is learn something uh, you couldn't have done before. Uh, we can train you, we can even uh, build a new academy. After this, we can invite services. So are you interested to deal all your financial services with us? Give it to us. We can even make transactions. So you've read something about the uh, the share of Daimler or the stock of Daimler, if you want to buy something, here's the easy uh, access to it. And in the very end, we want to become the platform in Germany for everything uh, around the world of business. And we've just started. So that's why we feel comfortable. And that also means you need a headquarter. As old-fashioned our newspapers looked that time, uh, really our building looks. Uh, our publisher uh, developed in it uh, some time ago by himself. And now he was open to say, okay, new times, need a new building. The world is going more and more digital. We need a real place. In real life, we go away from Königsallee back to the real life of people, young families living there, uh, seven floors, a big roof garden open to everybody to say, here's our restaurant, here's our kindergarten, you are invited because we want to be part of your life. And it should be a kind of flagship store for us. So, and now we have three more minutes to talk about this. Thank you. <clears throat> Frank, will you take a question if mm -hmm. you this one? Mm -hmm. So do raise your hand if you have a uh, question uh, for Frank. And I'll, I'll just start us off with yes. asking, did you meet any resistance? Because the old way of doing things yeah. was comfortable for many people, particularly yeah. older people felt yeah. this was good. And having the big desk where you sat yeah. behind it rather exactly. than engaging yeah. was good. Did you meet resistance to the changes that you wanted to make with Handelsblatt? And if so, how did you overcome that? Yeah, of course, we meet it with our readers, we meet it with our own journalists, we meet it in our own company. So uh, if you have 70 years running in this direction, making changes is difficult. And uh, sometimes it helps if you have a feeling of pain and say, okay, the good times are over now. <laughs> this gives you the effort. Sometimes it helps if you have the very first successful steps and they think, okay, things are moving and I can see the energy which is coming and then it's going smoother step by step. So it took that first when you were able to exactly. show the results of the first things exactly. you did, then people began mm -hmm. to get it. And the killer, uh, because you've seen the sentence, the first killer sentence was, Handelsblatt is not a newspaper and journalists can't get that into their head, and as we said, we are not part of the German timber industry, they say, okay, maybe they have a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please to uh, thank uh, Frank Dorpeider. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>